What is up, guys? Taking a quick break here for from the $20 to Brady Challenge to bring you a PSA update. I did a PSA submission a little while back. They had like the $15 special or something like that. Sent, sent in a handful of cards, and they have finally came in. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So first one that is on our list is a 2013 um, Topps Chrome Brady. Um, had a few little issues, and um, I gave it a 9 or a 10. And I already know these grades, but... Go ahead, share with you guys. This is the Brady, the orange Brady. Came back a nine. So, um, did give it a nine or a 10. Um, and then there were grades $30 to 35 raw. And then anywhere from 100 to 175 uh, is what I was seeing um, uh, for a PSA 10. And 50 to 55 back then, but now it's like 40 to 60, still in that range. 40 to 60 range got on the orange. Um, so price, price wise, somewhere in the $46 range and a PSA nine. So there is that first Brady next card that is on the list is a Amon Ross St. Brown that I had pulled myself this 2021 absolute orange spectrum auto number 275 of Amon Ross St. Brown, pretty good player with a pretty good score. Got a PSA 10. So did some looking around. It was hard to find a comp on this. Um, let's see here. So raw was anywhere from 30 to 75 dollars in that ballpark and when i was sending it in i found some 75 to 100 dollar comps and just kind of basing off that yeah 100 dollars to 150 maybe even 130 somewhere in there um on this so psa 10 amon Ra did great looking forward to his season this upcoming season so that is pretty cool um we did have this drone bettis upper deck 93 drone bettis Card inside, they sent us a error saying this card was resized or something was changed. Whatever, whatever the uh, mini size RQ, pretty much saying that it was altered or something along the lines of pretty much it not uh, not grading. They said it was maybe too small or something like that, which is definitely a bummer. I uh, would have loved to see it, seen it because uh, I believed. From the bottom of my heart that it was going to be a 10 that had no issues with it but apparently they did uh too small so uh next card we have is a trevor lawrence this card right here trevor lawrence score dots gold dots number two 225 um and rob was going around 20 bucks and also boom got a 10 hard one to hard one to get a price and i'm guessing just based off of other comps Trevor Lawrence stuff is down a little bit right now, so um, anywhere fifty to seventy-five dollar range in a, in a PSA ten. So um, from a twenty dollar card to a fifty dollar card on the low end, not too terrible. Um, the next card that we have is going to be a twenty-two Brady, a purple Brady number two, uh, one twenty-five. Here it is, a purple prism Tom Brady out of um, number two one number one one out of one twenty-five. Got a ten. So a PSA 10 for that Brady, I was looking at, you know, raw 15 to 20 and then 80 to 150, kind of a big jump there on those. Um, and yeah, that's about where it's at. I'd say 75 to 125, probably more in that range. Um, there were a few issues that I had with it. You know, I gave it a 9, 10, not a for sure 10. So um, some of the stuff, the front centering right to left, you know, I look at it now and I could, you could definitely see that centering right to left and it got a 10. So um, to me, that kind of blows my mind a little bit. There was some dimples on there. There was some um, front scratching right to left. Um, just some of the notes that I got written down here. Two to three dimples. Back left-hand corner ding. Um, one of the left corners had a little ding on it. But 10 it is. I'll take it. So just this is just me kind of learning a thing or two about um, grading. So here we have a 2022 Prism Brady profile. This was a short print. Um, card so profiles of Tom Brady um, raw this was about a hundred dollar card um, and it got a PSA 10 so PSA 10 um, on the profiles anywhere from three to five hundred is what I was getting at that at the time when I sent it in um, and yeah three to four hundred one sold for 299 one sold for 399 so definitely some decent grades on that um, and 10 is not a bad grade at all so pretty happy with that um, next card we have is a Aurora 2000, a rookie card, a Brady rookie. It's going to be this one here, Brady rookie, Aurora. I knew this one was not going to get a 
good grade. So I got seven or eight um, scuffs on the front, centering right to left, scuffs on the back, corner damage, um, top right edge had some flaws, um, and a raw was anywhere from 50 to $75, and then I had um, 75 to 80 to 100 even with with um, sevens and eights. So, um, and this one got a seven. So with a seven, um, I'm looking at probably 70, 80 dollar range somewhere in there. Um, so I guess we'll just see how that is. I'm gonna see if this uh, upgrades. I don't know. I think my other one that I have is also a seven in the uh, Tom Brady rookie um, pile. Might be also a seven. So we'll see how that goes. Um, next card we have another one of these orange orange uh, Brady from Chrome and I was looking at these right hand edge had a little chip um, right hand top corners had a little bump on it front light scratches front had two dimples anyways it's like a what I got written down a 30 35 dollar card raw this one did get a 10 so I did get a 10 always a big plus to get a 10 on the tens it, um, I had it written 100 to 175 dollars is that range you know you know, I'd say 100 to 150 now with the season kind of over things have kind of slowed down with football stuff. So 100 to 150, maybe just football prices are coming down as a whole. Next card I got is a fireworks Tom Brady. This is going to be a blue ice numbered, um, number 299. So this one's number 299, um, a raw card about $20 and mine got a nine. So it was not lucky. Um, so I was just kind of going off the of things. It's like similar to what the other cards had, you know, the the flaws and issues. But for whatever reason, this one does not pass to the ten mark. It just stayed at a nine. And I, I even wrote nine. Like I feel like this is gonna get a nine. I don't think it's gonna get get a ten. Um, front print lines, back light print lines, back top edge raised. Um, and that was another one of the things that kind of when, when they raised, they just look weird. I didn't, you know, I didn't know what what to. Uh, expect and i don't know if there's some kind of way to roll it and make it flat and without damaging the card i have no idea i just sent it the way it was um i figured it was gonna get a nine and it did so twenty dollars for a raw and a nine it's you know, forty dollars maybe fifty dollar card so yeah pretty much break even if 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 anything might lose a little bit but there we have that one so the next card is going to be a manning rookie a manning best performers bowman's um, Bowman's best. It's like a, has like a green kind of a hue to it. Um, so we did. I did have back print lines. There was a lot of print lines on the back. And with these cards, they're a little softer. They're not like the cards they print now. And they were somewhat deep. They were pretty deep. And I just you know I figured whatever, nothing I can do about it. Sent it in. Boom, got a ten. Um, so looking at this, here we are. So a raw card is about twenty. And then I think in a nine or it got a nine, not a ten. Sorry, got a PSA nine. Around twenty five bucks is what I was seeing there. About yeah, so about twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, I think, is what they're going for. I uh, didn't get a ten, so there we go with a nine. We'll have to add that thirty-five to forty-five bucks. Um, next is another tall or another Peyton Manning uh, rookie, Peyton Manning. A so now, on that one, I guess nine ten. This one I was guessing ten. It looked really clean, looked really nice. Um, back a little bit off center, left to right, a raw anywhere fifteen to twenty dollars, and then. 35 to 45 in a 9 and then 100 to 140 in a 10 and boom just like that it got a 10 was pretty happy about that um checked comps yeah 100 to 150 is a is what they're going for is what they seem to be going for so that is pretty solid there um on that one and the last one out of this box was a lamar jackson um and this is where i learned that i have no idea how to grade paper cards i got no idea um i was thinking hey this looks like you know a solid solid card and i was like 9 10 closer to 10 um the issues that i noticed were front top left hand corner was like a little bit rolled just kind of like it folded in that way which was kind of weird and then the bottom edge had some chipping uh, obviously corners and edges are stuff they look for so maybe since i had you know one in this category one in that category marked they kind of knocked it down to a um, to that nine, but scratches by the name. Um, so those were the kind of those are the three things that I noticed. Um, anyways, thirty-five to fifty dollars was what a raw was going for, and mine, boom, got an eight. Eight is absolutely kind of shot it in the foot. So that was I did the research before I sent it in, and there was a lot of hype with them potentially making playoffs, Super Bowl, whatever, blah blah blah. Thirty-five to fifty was what a raw was worth. I looked up comps today, and a raw or a PSA eight 
is going from anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. So um, 20 bucks is on like the auctions, 40 bucks is buy it now. So it kind of depends on what you hit. But a PSA 8 was kind of disappointed. I didn't know kind of what I missed on this card. Even looking back, it's like the corner seemed on the back seemed decent. Edges look decent. Centering, I mean, yeah, I guess it might be a little bit off. Whatever. <clears throat> missed on this Lamar. Got an 8. So that one, that one kind of hurts. Um, could have sold it with all the hype that was going around. Would have done great. But not the case. It's not what happened. Um, it's all right. You win some, you lose some. Next card. We have a Tom Brady Bowman, 2000 Tom Brady Bowman uh, rookie card, and um, I got six to seven. I was thinking it was gonna get either a six or a seven. Nothing, you know, nothing higher, nothing crazier. Um, the back edges were chipped and and tore up a little bit. Back corners were had some whiting. Front and bottom left hand corner had a ding. The front bottom edge had some bumps. Off center, right to left. Tom top um, center pits in, um, indent line on the back. Just every, you know, a bunch of different stuff. And I was like, you know what? This is going to get a six or seven. Not going to do great. Um, when I was, so, uh, so Raws were going for four to 500 bucks when I was sending this out. And boom, we got an eight. So way more than I expected. Um, when I was comping the cards, eights, or when I was sending them in, eights were going from 725 to 800 bucks. And I don't know, I don't even know why I put that eight score on there. Cause I did not think with that many flaws or issues that I noticed it was going to get that much but it did so it got an eight and i did look into that um now and they're going to seven seven hundred eight hundred bucks so still in that 725 to 800 dollar range which is pretty awesome happy to get this this is going to be help me pay for majority of the, sh the submission and and some potential uh, future investments so here is another card a 2014 tops finest x fractor from you know, of tom brady so uh, looking at this i did write down a score of nine i think i thought it was gonna get a nine um it had back rolled corners back light scratches off center right to left front light scratches top to bottom so i'm um, at the time a raw had went for 60 bucks uh nine for 65 and a 10 around 100 um and i d ended up getting a psa nine on this one uh with a psa nine I looked at it and they kind of range from 60 so one sold somebody took an offer for 60 and there's a lot um that are up for sale for like 140 150 haven't sold so i'd say 60 to 100 dollar range is where i put this guy even though it's a psa 9 so there is that one next we have a tua red ice tua um 2020 panini prism red ice tua it's a rookie 9 and 10 9 with the upside of 10 i wrote 9 just because um the top edge was chipped on the back the back light had some lines print lines fairly heavily top um front top edge had some issues kind of where it like gets bent down when they when they make the cards or whatever and there was a little bit of centering seemed like it was off center a little bit um rods at the time were going 35 45 bucks sent this guy in and boom got a 10 so a 10 to me was shocking i thought you know nine with possibility of 10 with a nine circled meaning heavily leaning towards nine um, with this red ice getting a 10 it's in the 150 dollars to 200 dollar range so also another big w there um, and with that one out of the way next that we have is the orange the orange laser of orange laser of tua same thing very similar issues you know i even wrote nine on this one um, back top edges chipped back all corners were rolled um, front off center top to bottom 20 25 dollars was what, what it was going for raw and in a PSA 9, 30 to 50, and then 100 to 150 in a 10, and boom, nailed it. Got a 10 on this one, surprise. I don't know how in the world I managed. Top to bottom, seemed off center. Just, you know, for me, I was like, this is probably gonna be a nine. I'll send it anyways, just so that way I have like a clear mind, so to speak. Sent it in and got that. So with a, with a you know, with it being a 10, 100 to $150 card on that tool, that's pretty awesome. So pretty sweet, happy with that one. Next we have, Getting in some of the 2023 stuff that I ended up sending um, towards the end of the submission was kind of scraping stuff up and grabbed this card and sent it in. So it's a 23 uh, crunch time insert of Justin Jefferson. Um, I know the Vikings weren't doing that great, and with Kirko Cousins gone, they might have uh, might have some issues at quarterback. Justin Jefferson might be out of there. Who knows? Anyways, um, looking at this card, I was going nine or a ten. So there's some dimples on the back, front end. The front edges were a little bumpy, and there was a dimple on the front. So with those. Those are the things that I noticed, and you know, centering looked pretty solid. Those are those are little things that I noticed. I'm like, man, it's going to be a 10, 9 with a 10, leaning heavy on the 10, and it got a PSA 9. 
So did a little bit of leg work when this came in. So raws are going for 10 to 15 bucks. And in a PSA 9, you can get one for about 40 bucks. So there we have that. Next card that went was a Puka Nakua pink preview. Uh, Puka Nakua 20, from 2023 Donruss. Um, back off center right to left. The back has some flaky edges. Um, front left hand top corner was rolled. Um, and then chrome defect by the leg there's like a some kind of lint or something st stuck in the machine when they went through it you know and i figured nine to ten with that lint surface i know psa tends to focus on the surface pretty heavily and i figured it's going to get a nine and boom it got a ten uh did some research raws of this puka card about going or going for about 20 bucks and in a psa 10 it's going from 75 to 100 dollars. 75 being like auctions and then 100 just on buy it now so Pretty solid. Happy with the grade on that one with the PSA 10. Another, we got another pink, pink uh, optic rated rookie. One that I pulled as well. This is a Rasheed Rice, and I wrote nine or ten um, with off centering, top to bottom. You can see pretty thin there and pretty heavy on the top. Um, figured whatever, I'll send it in. We'll see what happens. And it came back a ten. So just a little bit of centering issues, and it still came back a 10. And that's fairly heavy on the centering, I would say, but a 10 is a 10. I will take it. Um, with the research, these um, 10s are, or these raw are going for about 15 bucks, and in a 10, some 100 to 140 range, which was somewhat surprising, but awesome to get that back right now. Um, after, you know, they took the W at the Super Bowl. Next, we have a 2023 Mosaic NFL debut base card of CJ Stroud. Um, looking over this one, um, nine, nine to 10 with the heavy on the 10, um, top edges cut weird. Once again, it just got these goofy cuts and, um, whatever I went ahead, sent it, even though it was a base card figured, you know, can't really go wrong. Um, with it being a base, they're going for about five, 10 bucks, but this one got a 10 PSA 10. So a PSA 10 is going in the six, 60 to a hundred dollar range, which is not bad at all for a base card. So I will take that dub. And next we have a card that I've been wanting to send in for a while, kind of got thrown on the back burner on several different submissions just because I found just flaws with it that I didn't really want to kind of, I, I figured it was going to be, you know, once again, a nine, nine to nine with the possibility of a 10, but heavy on the nine um, lines on the, on the burrow on the front and on the back top two corners were rolled side edges were kind of fluffy and stuff was falling off of them type of thing just some kind of weird stuff everything else looked decent but it did get a nine so this in a raw was going for about 80 bucks and in a psa 9 about 90 to like 125 is what i was seeing so psa 9 you know so like i said you win some you lose some that one came back as an l and we'll just kind of uh move on from there next we got a um 2010 score gronk rookie card uh something that was floating around and then some of these cheaper cards i was like man i don't even know why i sent them um there's not much of an upside to them if they get tens you know so i was kind of like if you get a nine then you're just <laughs> just threw out 20 bucks for the submission pretty much um like like the bettis rookie i was like why did i even send that this another cheap card why did i send it you know this is a raw about like a five dollar card um, sent it in, took the risk. You know, I did tell myself this was gonna get a ten. I was pretty certain of it. You know, just had some scratch, uh, a light scratch somewhere in the middle. Um, came back as a ten. And once again, grading paper cards. I thought the um, Lamar Jackson looked better than this one, but this one came back a ten. That one came back an eight. Huge difference. Um, didn't notice many differences in them, so to speak, as, as far as damage goes. But a PSA ten Gronk, I will take that. Uh, PSA ten. Uh, goes sells anywhere from the 60 to 80 dollar range so pretty high um, so we'll take that we'll take that dub next we have a hall of famer a rookie 1995 stadium uh, stadium club uh, stadium club members only so there's a members only uh, card of marshall falk i looked at it, i'm like man this thing is solid there's no issues with it um a gave it a whoops gave it a 10 score of a 10 it's gonna be psa 10 some light scuffs didn't lo notice any big flaws or issues came back boom nine i was pretty solid it was a 10 i'm like i'm not gonna send these cheap cards unless i am 100 sure it's gonna be a 10 i was wrong boom got a nine so um this one right here in raw is like a one to three dollar card very cheap i sent it and now in a psa 9 a one sold for right around 15 bucks so um, t definitely taking a little bit of an L there, but it is what it is. Now I know it's a nine and not a 10. At least it's graded. And I know it's a nine instead of getting something that's not even slabbed. Um, 
So there we have that. And then there was one more card that I just went ahead and threw in the submission. Something that was um, that I had laying around from back in the day when I got scammed my first time in a PSA submission. The dude pretty much took the money up front for the submission, which I get. And then he never subbed it. A lot of people had issues with him. There was somebody tr tried to open a lawsuit. And then he sent everybody their cards back but didn't refund the money. Um, I was at like 500 bucks or something like that. And this was one of the cards that I sent in with the guy. And that was back, you know, COVID when John Morant was doing really well and he was hot. And I just, you know, was like, whatever, I'll go ahead and grade it. And boom, did get a 10. Um, so not really a basketball guy, but do have a, a PSA 10 of John Morant um, in a raw. This card now goes about, I don't know, 15 bucks. Back in the day, I think even a raw was like $100. This stuff was pretty crazy. Um, with a 10, you would have had real big money. Um and now, uh, in a PSA 10 with him getting in trouble and kind of doing some knuckleheaded stuff, um, 30 to 50 bucks is kind of the going rate for this. So it's like I pay for my, pretty much pay for grading plus get like, I don't know, make a couple bucks. If anything, it's pretty much a wash break even card type of thing. So there you guys have it. Let me know which card you guys like the best. I was uh, pretty happy with my Bowman with that Bowman rookie. And uh, happy to get that as an 8. I thought it was going to get a lot lower. Lamar Jackson for me was kind of a bummer as that came back an 8. And I was thinking it was going to be a uh, closer to a 10. Some nice nice Brady stuff did come in. So that's going to be pretty, pretty awesome. I am fairly happy about that. So that is my submission. Sorry that it was a little bit of a lengthy video. But uh, right here I'd say graded kind of on the more conservative side. Some around 2,300, 2,500-ish range price-wise for stuff that if it were to sell now, um, that is kind of what I would get sent on buy it nows or whatever. So there you guys have it. My grades are in, and that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if I should do more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Peace.